Hi, I'm Jonah Gelser for Pro Sound Effects, and in this video, I want to give you a brief taste of why having a high quality general library is essential to bringing your projects to life. With the hybrid library, you have access to over 63,000 specially curated sound effects, offering the media professional sound solutions to projects of every size and every flavor. In addition to the included portable drive, you also have online access. So, no matter where you are, access to high quality sound effects are only clicks away. And with annual updates and the included search software, finding the right sound is even easier. Within the hybrid drive, you'll find the trial version of Basehead, so just load it up and we're ready to start auditioning sounds. This short film revolves around a kidnapping and takes place within an abandoned industrial complex. So we're gonna first need an assortment of background material to create the environment. Let's start with the keyword abandon and see what we can pull up. Okay, I like those options. Uh, let's toss in some light birds. Some subtle fluorescent hum. And some crows and distant dog barks. When you've auditioned something you like, just drag and drop the media directly onto the timeline via the drag and drop bar. When it comes to backgrounds, I AB cut my material to correspond to significant perspective changes, which makes things tidier when printing automation in terms of volume, panning, EQ, reverb send automation, etc. When it comes to backgrounds, it's all about getting the levels just right. Backgrounds to me are felt more than heard. It sets the tone, creates the foundation for every other sound to live on top of. Using EQ to roll off high or low frequency content in backgrounds is a great way to easily sell distance and not distract, like for the subtle dog barking here. A little reverb automated or baked in helps to take a pristine sound effect and make it more a part of the world you're creating. We recorded some Foley material for the film, such as footsteps and cloth movement, but crucially need to cut together sounds for the vehicle driving. I found some great material of a 1957 antique vehicle, which was the worn out feel I want for the vehicle in this scene. There's never a one-size-fits-all sound effect, so it's crucial you get comfortable with cutting and chopping various material to create a cohesive sum. I combined engine starts and idles, car buys, and tire riding on gravel sounds to cut together the vehicle for the scene, using EQ to roll off highs or lows to match from one sound to another, as well as selling the fact that we're inside the car instead of outside car door openings, metal creaks and squeaks and car upholstery sounds help accent the foley when characters hop in the car or when the vehicle rolls up on a metal graded section. I found a lot of great train material to use to sell the impending doom of the off-screen train barreling towards our characters. Using train horns with EQ and reverb to sell distance and panning to sell direction, along with train track sounds to create more tension and low end material in the form of rumble sound effects, to sell the weight of the approach, all yielded towards a dicier feeling scenario. 
Using cloth Foley grab recordings in the library helped reinforce specific moments in the short film, in addition to other various prop movements and weapon fire. And lastly, choosing a few key riser and whoosh transitional elements to further bring the end of the scene to a climax. I don't forget the ruse. Get in the car. Move. You're driving. Open it. Get in. Turn it on and drive. That way. Pull the car onto the tracks. I said move the car onto the tracks. Please, I need a I minute. I don't remember the rules. No talking. Enough, stop the car here. What do I do now? Well, that's entirely up to you. It's interesting, though, most people ask what I'm going to do. Is it worth it? Two thousand dollars and a signature. And here you are. Heart racing, vulnerable, distressed. It's not as good as sex, but it's a close second. Of course, I could be wrong. I've got the energy, but I don't think we have the time. Dodge the bullet, hit by the train. Bullet of the train. Bullet or the train.
Hopefully this video gave you some brief insight into just how important having a solid all-around sound effects library can be to get you up to speed and help elevate your projects to the next level. Whether you're a video editor, sound editor, or animator, having a wealth of high quality sound effects at your disposal is essential to help ground the visuals on screen and immerse your audience in the stories and environments you choose to bring to life. For Pro Sound Effects, I'm Jonah Gelso. I'll catch you next time. Pro Sound Effects.